Hey YouTube, answering a subscriber's, a new subscriber's question actually, how to lose that last five, 10 or 15 pounds of jiggle, her words, not mine, her words, I'm gonna say her, her name is Kat. So I'm gonna go with it's her. I'm gonna say it's short for Catherine or Katrina. I have no idea. Anyways, how do you lose that last five, 10 or, or 15 pounds of uh, jiggle, as she quoted, if you're not interested in coming in lean like a bodybuilder, or you're not morbidly, morbidly obese where you have 150 pounds to lose. And her point in uh, the question was simply, uh, there's so much information on how to lose 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds really, really easy with like keto diets and protein sparing modified fasts and all that jazz. But what if you don't want to lose that much weight? What if you just want to lose five pounds? What if you just want to lose 10 pounds? Uh, there is information out there, but the problem is at the end of the day, uh, we do end up revolving back as a society towards the uh, common denominator, the vast majority, the lowest common denominator, which is the obesity epidemic that we have out there. So a lot of the information out nowadays is simply, uh, yeah, let's talk to you about how you can lose 100 pounds in a year. So let's say you want to lose 5 pounds. Well, no, let's go with 10. I'm going to go with 10. So you want to lose 10 pounds, cat. At the end of the day, what it comes down to is, uh, I'm sorry, you have to employ the same things that bodybuilders do. I know it sucks. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing that condescendingly. Like it's just at the end of the day, I'd love to give you some magic tool uh, that the normal person has to do, but a bodybuilder's body, uh, your body, my body, and that morbidly obese person who's 600 pounds who wants to dump 300, 400 pounds, we all work on the same mechanisms, whether we want it to or not. Uh, disregarding, say, like diabetes or, or anything that might fuck with your metabolism, be it um, hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, insulin sensitivity, at the end of the day, the, the body's um, mechanisms are all pretty much the goddamn same. So what it comes down to is a calorie deficit. Sorry, cat. Um, that's really it. Uh, but what it comes down to also is how long do you want to give yourself? What's your, what's your sanity worth? I mean, when you look at a competitor who has like 16 weeks pre-competition and they're around, oh, I don't know, 10 or 12% body fat and they go ahead and they just rip down to like 4% striations, eight pack abs, like you can see like veins in their face and, and, and they look just diced and you're like, well, that's not what I'm looking for. Well, that's their, that's their, their prerogative. That's what they're interested in doing but they're actually paving the way for you. They're showing you how to do it, even if that's not your goal. And it's a calorie deficit. It's taking in less calories than your body uh, needs in a day in order to create a deficit. But it all comes down to time. A lot of competitors will give themselves 16, 20 weeks in order to meet a goal. It's not a bad timeline. Four to five months, it's pretty good. So you have to decide, how long am I gonna take? They say it takes about a 500 calorie deficit every, single week, uh, every day for a week to lose a pound of fat. I hate hearing that personally. Extenuating circumstances apply. How much protein you're eating, carbs, fats, what's your diet like, what's your workout like, all determines whether that actually is accurate, but it's a good guideline. Being in a calorie deficit, 500 calories a day will eventually cause you to lose body fat, right? Um, so if you want to lose that extra five, or one, five pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, you need to be in a deficit. So at 500 calorie deficit, you're going to lose a pound a week. At 250 calorie a day deficit, you're going to lose half a pound a week. Now, if it's that last five pounds of, uh, of, of jiggle, as you call the cat, or whether it's that last 10 pounds uh, of jiggle or, or whatever, and it all just comes down to that calorie deficit, right? You're on, the, you're on the same pathways that that bodybuilder is, and you're on the same pathways as that morbidly obese person who wants to lose weight is. So you just have to decide how long you want to take to do it. Um, and it's calorie deficit, calorie deficit, calorie deficit, calorie deficit, and that's the name of the game. And that sucks that there is no um, different perspective for that for the average person, but it's the truth. It's the nature of the game. Um, there are people like myself who are um, overly, you no, know, I want to call myself a zealot. I really do, but like I eat clean. Don't get me wrong. Uh, tonight, my best friend was in town. I haven't seen him in over a year. Uh, we went out, we had dinner, uh, drinks, drank quite a bit of beer had a good time caught up, right? Not particularly healthy. However, everything in moderation, including moderation. I don't remember who said that. But the point being is, is if you're not looking to get diced and ripped, you know, and you're like, well, I just want to be a normal person, and a normal, normal human being. You just have to decide how long you're going to give yourself and work within that calorie and calorie out deficit. 
Uh, I've been talking for five minutes, uh, basically telling you that you need to do what bodybuilders do. And I know that your goals aren't bodybuilding, or at least I got the impression that, I'm sorry if that's not the case, but your goals aren't bodybuilding, your goals aren't losing 100 pounds, you're losing five or 10. 250 calorie deficit, 500 calorie deficit, one will get you about a half a pound a week, one will get you a pound a week. Uh, if you don't want to cut calories, you can increase cardio, right? Just, it all comes down to a, a weekly balance, right? To make sure that you're about 1750, 3,500 calories a week down, right? Um, really, sure, uh, I want to make this video no much, no more, not much more longer. Uh, that's the end of it. That's the crux of it. I can give more information on how to lose weight. There's a ton of great videos out there on how to lose weight. A lot of them say 3,500 calorie a day, a week, a day, <gasps> pound a day. Oh my God, don't do that. That's a terrible idea. 500 calorie a day deficit, 3,500 calories per week. Uh, make sure you hit your protein macros. Make sure you hit your fat macros. And then the rest fill in with carbs depending on your body size, weight, and activity level. But the point is, is you know, you don't got to reinvent the wheel. Like somebody else has done it for you. All you got to do is listen. So that last 5, 10 pounds, just decide how long you want to take to lose it. Um, I would personally recommend no more than a pound a week. Oh, actually, I recommend between uh, 0.5 and 1% of body weight a week lost, which generally can be 1, 2, 4, 5%, depending on how fat you are. Sorry, fat, bad term. How heavy you are. What your body weight is. All oh, these are terrible terms. I should have really thought about this before I made this uh, video, but I'm not going to start over. That's not my thing. I just keep going, rambling into the camera like I am now, and you're like, get to the point, Mark. You've wasted 16 seconds of my life. So let's carry on. Uh, 0.5 to 1% body weight uh, per week is a good goal for weight loss for muscle sparing. And if it is just that 5 or 10 pounds of jiggle, as you called it, that's what it comes down to. Super simple, right? Pick how long you would do it. I'm going to do this in 10 weeks. And you want to lose 10 pounds? Fine. 500 calories a day deficit. You want to do it in 20 weeks? You want to do it over the summer? You want to do it over the winter? Figure it out. Um, good resource is, I, I'm just going to like, tigerfitness.com, uh, Mark Lobeliner's channel. Great information on uh, body weight loss. It can help you create, uh, create a TDEE. Um, for the average person, it's great. Uh, for me, um, kind of sort of accurate, a little bit different, but that's, it's great for the average person, it really is. People who are really, really in depth into fitness, it's not as accurate, but for the average Joe, it's pretty much bang on. Um, oh, I wanted that to be a uh, Adventure Time reference. It's, if anybody gets that Adventure Time reference, you're fucking amazing. Um, yeah, uh, TigerFitness.com has a, has a bunch of articles on calculating your daily energy expenditures, how much you need to actually take in to burn calories to lose that weight that you want. And when you get to your goal for that five or 10 pounds, don't, don't keep going. Add 200, 300, 400 calories extra to your diet so that you don't keep losing weight, right? Uh, anyways, Cat B, this video was for you. Uh, I hope it was informative. If it wasn't, Fire me back and say, hey, dumbass, you were so far off the mark. That is not at all what I was asking. Close down your channel and kill yourself. And I will take it to heart, but I'm not going to do it because you don't run my life. My girlfriend does, but she's sleeping. I hope I didn't wake her up. She'll beat me. She'll beat me so hard. Oh, God. She's moving. Anyways, question of comments down below, boy, guys. This, is, this isn't rocket science, right? It's not rocket scientology. All you got to do, calorie deficit, it's the same thing the bodybuilders do. It doesn't matter whether you want to lose 100 pounds, 1 pound, anything like that. It's just calories in, calories out, calorie deficit. Once you get to your goal, just stop, right? Same pathways as a bodybuilder uses, same pathways as a morbidly abused person uses, same pathways that I use, right? Questions, comments down below, guys. As always, remember, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.